And when I first came to RCC, it just felt like that relief moment. And you're like, yep, this is it. And since then I've been able to bring friends and family into the RCC home. And I think it's just making my faith grow stronger just because there's that weekly refresh and it's relevant teaching and it's just so applicable to what we're doing in life that um, I feel like it's not just a Sunday thing, it is every day of the week. Everybody is so real here. I think that that's been a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. so sometimes you walk into church and you just feel on edge and you're kind of getting judged and I've made these mistakes in my life and it's just, like, I've never felt that here. I came in and noticed right away that uh, I was accepted just for who I was and the way I was. I didn't have to try and fit in, I didn't have to change, I just uh, had to show up. Uh, I really did not have a relationship with God before I came here and I didn't know I didn't. So I thought I knew how to practice being a good Christian, how to be a good follower of Jesus and it wasn't until I came here and how I really recognized that was watching everybody here, just the warmth and the love. One of the things that um, coming to RCC really made a difference for me with was um, learning to consult with God before necessarily doing something. So, you know, growing up, like, I would talk to God and, and I had, I feel like I have a relationship with God, but not in the same way where, like, I didn't bring Him with me. It was more like, hey, here was my day, and you know, that was it. And I started saying prayers to God about like, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to do, right? And, and if it's up to me, I'm gonna mess it up. And also, I'm not really good always at reading subtle cues. Like, I need you to make this super, super <laughs> obvious. Should we do this? Should we not do this? Should I do this? Should I not do this? And I started doing that and finding that, like, it, it was really obvious. Like, God would be very clear, like, do this, don't do that. It's me her and God versus the problem, right? Like, that's a three on one, like that's undefeated. Like, you, you, there's no way you're not gonna solve that problem. And I think like just having that relationship and having it front and center of our marriage and yeah, I just think it, it just, you know, just changes. You know, it changes a lot, it changes everything. When you know you're going to have a hard day or a hard conversation, that prayer just of like, hey, I know I'm doing the right thing, just please help me. I went through some really, really, um, probably the worst, darkest time in my life. And when I came out of that, um, I was making baby steps and I really needed to um, reconnect with God. I, I know that He never left me, but I kind of turned away from Him because I felt really unworthy, that I needed to get my life together and then I could, you know, reconnect with him again, which I know is insane because that's totally opposite of, of what he really, fe how he feels. But um, so I thought, you know, make it a whole fresh new start, brand new life. I think I need to make a change. And I started coming and um, it really was what I needed. It was real talk, you know, stuff you could understand, but yet totally from the Bible. Um, totally applicable to your to your daily life. Um, the music was incredible. I really wanted to do something with Sam, which we love doing things together. So music's always been something we enjoy a lot. So being able to play music with him and serve at church, and when people say how it, what it's meant to them, it's like God's using me, and, and that's very surprising that that happens because you don't know you make a difference. The church challenges us to grow spiritually mm -hmm. and to use our gifts to move forward and to help others. It's, it's, it's not hard to serve here. It's really not. You know, living generously is serving others, right? And helping for them to feel what you feel. And when you, when you do serve others in, how, in whatever capacity, like it fills your heart and it really like makes you at least me, it makes me whole. Sometimes we think that we have to have a lot of money or we have to have this great talent, but it's really, however you can do it, that's enough. And that's what, you know, if I could tell anybody, like, you don't need to be on this grand stage. Like, just be you and pay it forward and open your heart and God will show you the way to, to be generous and, and show your heart to others. Keep, keep the eye on the big picture. Um, for, for money and time is 
is what what is God trying to do here and and God is calling you to be a part of that a part of that a part of the church a part of the ministry um, both financially and and volunteering your time um, so to keep that to be in prayer about it but to, to keep that in mind is is you're a part of that bigger picture of saving people I am super excited to um expand uh, the church family and I'm really excited um, just to like hear more stories um, and how God is using um, being used in their life. I think going all in as a church is going to allow us to go all in as a family and it's going to be amazing to see our girls grow up with Jesus in a home which is our church um, that has the same morals and values that we do as a family. So that's what I'm most excited about is our family growing with our church family. What you said, that was really good. Don't just come to church, become the church. And that to me is what this church is about. It's a group of people who, in our own, each of us in our own way, try to live for Christ. And that is becoming the church, and that's beautiful to me. There's so many amazing things that God is doing and through prayer and uh, just relying and trusting on Him that the limits are endless. It blows my mind that God is trusting us with that space and what He has planned that it's not even going to be able to, we're not even going to be able to imagine what He has planned because it's going to be so great. Just being all in for Jesus and all in for all of the things that he's going to be doing. It's excitement and curiosity and wonder and joy, all of the things. <laughs>